crazy sounds with uh, the MS70 CDR so this is a patch this is one where uh, I don't think I have enough processor to have the, like the, the switcher on off so my first effect is an ice delay second effect is a filter delay third effect space hole fourth is delay delay so um, we will break down the sound turn everything off except for the initial so <laughs> Start out with a little ice delay. By the way, here's this is the uh, Squire Jaguar with flat wounds. Through AC15 Twin 12 and a silver face Princeton from the 70s. A little bit of compressor pedal on to boost the pickups since it's a jag. Anyway, ice delay. Okay, that's cool. Let's add some filter delay on top of that. To give you a little movement. And then let's turn the whole thing up in a hole. how space hole takes that the pitch stuff and smooths it all out and then lastly there's a delay which I don't even know if we'll be able to really tell built it out let's break everything down so you heard the ice delay initially I'll give you a look at the settings real quick I'm not gonna talk to them I know that's boring it may be more boring for you to hear me tell you what they are but you can see them this is a video that's the whole point right anyway uh, Filter delay, oh, let me turn this off so you can hear what the filter delay is doing by itself. Uh, again, dry signal. Oops, moving stuff around, sorry. It's very slow. It's 500 millisecond delay, decent amount of feedback, pretty heavy on the mix. Slow on the rate, heavy on the Depth, that resolution, whatever. The reso was at eight, so. All right, turn that off, and then you can hear space hole. Which is a pretty.
and I hope you can hit pause on YouTube. Uh, we'll turn it off and then we'll go to the delay. So uh, I don't know, you probably won't be able to tell. That's uh, ping-ponging back and forth between my amps. So I do stuff like that just to create more movement in the sound, which the whole point of this sound is to have like a, a crazy pad spread type sound, so. With stuff moving around in the sound field, so that's the whole point. and things like that. Um. That the overdriven notes are providing that weren't in there before, so. I think I want to do like more just a boost. This is a pretty loud patch also, by the way, so you may want to adjust output volumes on some of the stuff. So anyway, that's just, I don't know, uh, I like creating pad type sounds with this thing. It's, I know people think the shimmer thing is stupid, this isn't really shimmer in my mind, this is like, okay, I really want to create a pad. Let's get crazy. I'm going to turn on the uh, Dimension C after. Which you probably won't be able to hear because I'm not running a stereo mic. But Just smooth things out even further. So anyway, that's... Uh, one of my crazy little pad sounds here on the MS-70 CDR.